to this playthrough of uh, Prime Minister. We're playing the Clockwork 2 scenario where I started as the opposition leader and we will jump right back into the action. We are back. So the current victory point situation, he's got 23, I have 12. Um, he has 360 members of parliament with 230 of those being moderates. And he is still uh, drawing cross-party bills. So that's the next thing that we're gonna do here is draw six cross-party bills and then decide what bills he's gonna put out there. And I need a few of them that he can, that I can attack so he can't pass them. Those are not good. Those, well, I mean, it means he can't use his influence action. His influence action is gonna be kind of uh, ineffective. So his selection range for bills that are all is greater than 310. So every one of these bills is within his selection range. So he starts by choosing the Parliamentary Papers Act um, because the next tiebreaker is standing. Then the next tiebreaker after that is going to be increases in... Um, that was really unfortunate. I needed him to get a, like a moderate bill in there. Um, so they had something that was a little bit lower, um, but anyway, so this bill is at 330 The Public Libraries Act is 340 and the Medical Act is at 360 Okay So He will not be doing influence so he will really be sort of focusing a little bit on bills next turn um, although the first turn he won't focus on it very much because the highest bill is out here and it's like outside of his uh, defense range. So he won't be, be going after that. So now we're back around to my turn. And uh, I would love to... Um, so I think what I'm going to do is I'd like to get... I want to get both of these bills in a position where um, we're kind of just fighting a little bit like this. Ah, boy, I'm just thinking, I'm gonna use my special ability and draw one supporter and hopefully get like a good campaigning, a good debating bill. Well, okay, I got John Stuart Mill. And I, oh boy, I don't really wanna go down with the conservatives. So that's three. Shifting the partisans doesn't really help me at this point. Oh boy. Well, I'm going to accept it. So we're going to play that card to drive that bill. The parliamentary papers. I don't want him to get that standing point. So we're going to do that. We're going to accept the impact to our election fortunes. That's a pretty significant impact though. Still holding on to these for the potential to use them for standing. And I think with the next one, I'm going to debate. And the reason I'm going to debate is I want to move this bill down. Um, one. I guess actually he's just going to move it up one. And then he'll try to pass it. Actually, let me rethink that. I think I'm going to draw another supporter card because... Debating this bill doesn't really help me. I mean, it, it, it holds out like a one in six uncertainty chance that it fails, but it doesn't, it's, that's not very likely to happen. And, and so I, and he's going to spend a cube anyway to move it there. I guess actually if I debated it down once, he'd spend two cubes on it. Oh, wait, this is okay. No, I'm going to debate that bill. I'm going to debate that bill and send it down there. And then he'll, he'll spend one cube on it. Okay, sorry for the confusion. If you follow that train of thought, good for you. I'm not even certain I do at this point. So we now draw an event for him. So if his standing is greater than nine, it is... Oops, I must have flipped him. Standing is greater than nine, and the highest bill is greater than 320 it is. He's going to spend one campaigning with the middle class. So this election is getting out of control. The selection situation is getting out of control. I may need to use the Duke of Devonshire to bring this back. Me and the Duke, I may need to just cr go crazy with the conservatives and just not take those standing because um, 
Like, if he gets way out here, I, I could have a real trouble ever preventing him from passing a bill ever again. Um, okay, so now he's going to play this supporter card. So he's going to drive himself up one with the Liberals. Gets even worse. So now, uh, he is not going to use influence because all of the bills are, are not driven by moderates. He's not going to, with his first two cubes, he's not going to deal with the, the highest bill because the highest bill is passable. So he's going to campaign with the middle class and gentry. So middle class and gentry, which causes him to go up even more. So this election, this is looking like a just a stone cold blowout at this point. Oh, yeah, yeah. All right, that's all of his cubes. So now, Bill selection time. He's going to pass the Medical Act. Now, the good news about that is we both get two victory points. He goes up with the middle class, but he's already pegged at the top of the middle class. So the good news is that that doesn't actually harm me at all. Um, it doesn't actually help him at all. So now we got to reset uh, for the next uh, round. All right, we've reset. Now it's my turn. Now he will spend potentially up to three cubes on this bill. Um, but I've got to get campaigning. I mean, I simply cannot. I mean, he is so far ahead on that campaign track right now um, that I'm going to go for the radical action here. And I'm going to go up three in conservatives. So that's nine. That only takes me to there. That is just a horror show. And then I do go down one in Ireland. So that puts me back to there. Uh, and then I'm going to spend one to debate that back to there because I really don't want him to pass that. And then I'm going to spend another one and I'm going to continue to hope against hope to get some good supporters. Oh, that's horrible. Oh my god, that's all so awful. Those two cards couldn't possibly have, have been worse. So, flattery does absolutely nothing for me, as does the influence. And the problem here is going up in liberals isn't actually something I want to do. I prefer to be on the bottom of that track. And if I send him down in the middle class, then that just means that he's going to go up in the middle class. So... The best I can do is just tuck that card away. That was unfortunate. Really had no effect and no good effect. So far, this is a, just a complete blowout. So, standing's greater than nine. So he's going to spend a cube to campaign in farmers because this bill is greater. So he's going to spend a cube to campaign with the farmers. I don't really need him getting further ahead here, but there you go. All right, so he campaigns with the farmers, and then he will spend his next two cubes debating the highest bill because that will push that bill to there, which means it will be passable. So uh, having done his actions, he's going to pass the Public Libraries Act, um, which gives both of us two victory points. He's going to go up one with Gentry and one with the middle class. Middle class gets him nothing. Gentry pushes him even further ahead in this upcoming election. Jeez. Um, and we will now loop around to the next round. Okay. Well. I don't... Right now, he won't spend time on this. Um, although he could draw a supporter card, which causes him to spend time on it but right now he is not going to spend time on that bill because he can only get it to uh one two to three thirty which isn't within his passable range so i'm gonna be hobnobbing twice and hoping that i get some better luck so i can go up two in ireland but down one in conservatives that doesn't seem like a good thing for me or i can drive him down one in ireland or I can go up with the farmers or up with the workers. Jeez. I mean, up two in Ireland at least has the benefit 
Well, no, it's a plus one because I also go down one with the conservative, so that isn't actually very good. Um, I guess let's go up with the farmers. You know, it's all kind of one, and, and none of it is particularly catching me up here. So we're hobnob again. Ay, ay, ay. I could cause him to go down with liberals. Or I could go up with liberals and down with the middle class. I think shoving him down with liberals is probably the best thing because it's going to reduce the number of partisans he has. I don't think I want to reduce the number of partisans he has, frankly. Because I need that I need that to be a kind of like a mix. So terrible choices, but I'm going to tuck this card away. Um, but I think I will play this to cause him to go down with the middle class. Now he's going to undo that, probably, but at least um, for at least uh, for now it it, it sort of uh, reduces the the damage that that's about to happen. Okay, so that's my turn. So now we draw an event for him. So standing is less than twelve. Highest bill is greater than three forty. That's not true. So he is not going to spend any cubes. So. Let's look at what he is going to do. So, again, influence has no effect. Highest bill. Now, he could move this bill three, but that is only going to move it to 330. So, that's that's not within, uh, that's not where he's going to pass the bill. So, he, that, he treats that as futile uh, because there's only one bill left on the board. But what he is going to do is he is going to go up in the middle class. And part of the reason, just to be clear, part of the reason that I use that card to move him down in the middle class is otherwise he would have drawn a supporter here. And that supporter, maybe that supporter moves the bill. And then suddenly it's not futile uh, for his last two actions. So he campaigns in the middle class there. And then on the next one, I think he can still campaign with the gentry. Such a blow. And then with the next one, uh, he can still campaign with the liberals. Wow. 390. That's his, that's his projection total right now. All right. So, so, such it is. So it is. Well, at least we force him to withdraw this bill. So we, we gain a victory point. We gain a standing, he lose, sorry, he loses a standing. Realistically, I need to get our action cubes economy working in my favor if I'm going to make any difference in this game. So I got to focus on preventing bills from getting passed is pretty much what I've got to do, I think. Uh, but now we're going to hold an election and he's going to hold the election because he is slated to win seats. I mean, he's at 390. Uh, so basically, I need to get a negative number here uh, that'll take it down to 380 and sort of contain the damage. Plus two. Well, so he goes up to 390. Uh, I think I forgot to do this last turn, by the way. So he gets two for winning the election, and he got two extra seats last time. And this time he gets two for winning the election, and he got three extra seats. So he is now at 44 after those two elections yikes now where is he at in terms of partisans he's got 70 he's got 180 partisans 180 partisans which gives him still 210 moderates so he's still going to be drawing cross-party bills um what i really need to have happen this turn is i need to have some stuff with moderates come out on the board where i have a chance of uh that he has to pick um, you know, he'll pick anything with moderates that's 280 or above. He, he's not going to pick those. So I kind of need to draw a bunch of bills that are moderates because I got to, I got to stop him from passing things, or I got to at least get bills where it doesn't give him any campaign benefits. At any rate, we'll see how all that plays out in the next video. Thanks for sticking around to the end of the video. Hope you're enjoying the video. Hope you're enjoying the series. Hope you're enjoying the channel. 
It'd be great if you could uh, leave comments with suggestions, like for example, with games that you'd like to uh, see come to the channel or improvements that we can make to the channel, or if you spot me doing anything uh, wrong rules-wise, let me know. Um, and definitely subscribing and hitting the notification bell for uh, when we produce new content would be great. But we will see you in the next video on Agility Snips Gaming Table. Thank you.